is a lecture let on how to do a t-test using the LSR package's uh, built-in independent samples t-test function. Um, there are a couple of gotchas in this uh, in this video that I want to uh, highlight. Uh, let's pull in a data set. Uh, this was uh, thanks to one of your um, classmates uh, on, on one of the data sets used for the data assignment. So I'm just going to copy paste the data. Uh, if we take a look, uh, we can see that this data set has <coughs> quite a few columns. Uh, we want to do the um, the uh, test on total tests column and um, uh, the total tests is our dependent variable. And uh, region, we're going to pick two regions, uh, will become our categorical variable or the, or the two levels of our independent variable. Uh, going back to the data here. Um, we're now going to load the um, the LSR package, make sure that it uh, runs and no, spits out no error. And now what we need to do is uh, instead of filtering each of the categories into two separate um, filter variables, as we have done it for uh, other kinds of tests, we need to place the two of or both of our categories into the same uh, uh, data frame. So I'm just going to call this um, my filter df. And uh, here we're going to use the same kind of scheme as we used for other kinds of subsetting. So uh, we specify the, uh, the name of the data frame. And then in, uh, inside the square brackets, we again specify the data frame. And in this case, what I'm going to do is uh, um, pick two of the regions, let's say we'll pick BC and Fraser, and uh, and we'll have a reduced data frame that only contains these two regions and none of the others. So DF region, uh, we want to specify Fraser, and there's this kind of operator which we have not used, the vertical uh, um, uh, line which is uh, the button that you use with shift and the button that's located above your enter or return key on your keyboard. Uh, and this means or. So we want to uh, specify that we want uh, every region that is a Fraser or BC. And uh, we close it with a comma. And when we run this variable, we can take a peek at it. And you can see that now we only have regions of Fraser and BC. So uh, you will have to do this in your data set too. In many, of your, in many cases for your data set, you're going to have more than two uh, groups. But for the purpose of this class, you can only compare two groups. And so for this reason, we need to discard every uh, other uh, category that may appear in your data set. Once we have this, um, there's something to check. We want to make sure that the class of the new uh, filter uh, df is uh, a factor. So when I run this, it shows up as a factor. If it's not a factor, then you need to run something like this. You need to specify um, your uh, data frame and your column uh, like so and you need to make sure that you assign it as a factor and so when you run this and you run class again you will definitely get a factor as your uh, as your uh, output uh, another thing to check is levels so when you run this on your column and we don't need the class inside this, so just levels. It tells us all the levels of the of this factor variable. And you can see that everything that was there from before in the original data frame, including interior and northern, etc., etc., are still there. However, we know that there are it doesn't actually appear in the data set, but uh, but or remembers that this used to have all those other options as well, except that now if we count the number of interior in this uh, data set, we'll find that it's zero. Nevertheless, it's going to, uh, when we run the t-test, we're going to get a warning because, uh, because the t-test is going to say that, oh, there are actually more than two levels and the t-test won't work for that. But 
it will still do the test, but there will be a warning about it. So just as a as kind of a, something to anticipate. So uh, let's run this. In so our function from the LSR package is called independent samples t test, and we'll just to format it kind of aesthetically. We'll create multiple lines. So our formula is going to include first the column name uh, of the output, the dependent variable, which we are calling. Uh, in here total tests so that goes in here total tests and then we use this little uh, tilde sign it's called a tilde it's written like so tilde and you can find that button uh, uh, usually to the left of the one key and you need to often use the shift shift and that button to produce this tilde sign uh, and uh, after the tilde, we specify our categorical variable, our grouping variable. And in this case, the name of that is region. And then comma, and in the new uh, line, we specify our data source. And our data source is going to be this filter df, which we've created with the two categorical variables. And finally, uh, we can specify whether we have equal variance in this data set or not. When you check your data set, you're going to uh, run, one of the tests that you'll run is uh, the Fmax test. And if the Fmax test exceeds uh, 3.0, then you know that you have an issue with, uh, with homogeneity. If your data is heterogeneous, then you need to say that, you, uh, that this is false. Uh, and uh, Or if, if you do have homogeneity, then you can state that it's true. Uh, for now, I didn't check uh, any assumptions on this data set because I just wanted to show the t-test only. And I'm going to assume that variance is equal, but don't assume it for the data uh, project. So when we run this, uh, just as we anticipated, we got the warning message that, message that, uh, that this uh, factor variable actually is more than two levels. But that's okay. We can just scroll up and we can see the output of our student t-test. And you can see that uh, we've got uh, BC and Fraser compared. We have the means for each of them and standard deviation. And we've got this t-statistic as the 9.37 and a p-value that's highly significant at the 99.99% level uh, or a p-value of less than 0.01. So that's, this is a really good uh, significant result. Although for the data assignment, it's not necessary that you have a significant result, but it's certainly very rewarding and satisfying to see something like this. So this is the t-test using the LSR package uh, briefly.